All right, everybody, welcome back to today's video. And you guys have been hounding me to playtest the new Synchron cards that are coming out in Duelist Nexus, like things like the Crimson Dragon, Cosmic Quasar, all of those amazing stuff. And I'm like, guys, chill. I want to I wanna actually, you know, wait for it to come out, wait for it to pop in the TCG, and then playtest it because, one, the format will be different. Two, things like Psychic Grover can happen where card text can change from OCG to TCG, and then all of our combos that would have made up to this point would have been meant nothing but you guys I fair enough I will show you some combos because I have been playtesting it and some of you guys have graciously sent in like replays of how you are playing with the new cards and then the adventure build I haven't gotten to that yet but I will do soon but it's been hectic week so I've done a few playtests on some of the new stuff um, and what you're seeing on screen is this going to be two card combos so Junk and Caligo just showing you what those two can do on its own Obviously, if you had a five card hands, you have things like Synchro World, you have stuff like Ready, Set, Go, the dual, that card that special summon a Synchron. You've got all other cards which will change up your combo lines, but just based off these two, I'm just going to show you what is possible. So with this end board, what we're trying to do is hand loop our opponent for two cards with Omega, and end on the Crimson Dragon, which will resu result in a Crystal Wind. Which, and to make that, we would also re uh, revive Stardust Dragon. I'm going to show you what it does, and then you can take this and come and think if it's good enough or not. And then obviously, this is still day one of testing, so it will I will play test it more and try and make it more impactful. And I'll give you more of my thoughts at the end of this combo. So let's just start. So you summon Junk, Caligo, make speed up like normal. This version can get ashed, and if you get ashed, you're kind of screwed. So yeah, it in this the way I'm building it, Caligo is the strongest, but converter and then if you play doppel those two would uh chain block ash here so then the ash would have meant nothing and now we bring out all our synchrons and this feels so weird and so cool at the same time because usually this is one junk two and start as three but now we've got a lineup of five synchrons which is so cool activate we're going to search illumination we are not playing arrive in light because it's too bricky in this build especially with all the different synchrons now um yeah i'm trying to go for the most consistent line possible and then let me just go previous. So what you're going to do here is because this can be treated as a as a tuner or a non-tuner, you're going to use this wood revolution to try and make um, Omega because we need this in the graveyard for the following step. So Omega and then Omega and Assault will make Baron. So we've got your negate on the board to protect your following plays. Now what you're going to do is you're going to activate Wheel and Grave, targeting your Junk Speeder to make it a level 4 because that's quite important because this and this is going to make our Axel SD. So, those two, there's your Axel SD, and that's a very important card. I think this is the first one we're getting, and it's coming out very soon now. Um, use its effect to revive Assault. Now we can use Illumination to special summon Stardust Trail to the field, because we've got Axel SD on the field. So there you go. Axel SD, I'm going to use its effect to bring out Stardust Dragon, use Stardust Dragon and Assault to make Bitchel Dispatter, and now for the rest of the turn, this is unaffected by card effects, which is very good, because we are going to be using it to fulfill the hand loop. And now we're going to use uh, Jet and uh, Stardust Trail as our, we usually would in our normal combos to make Exile to level climb, and Chain Link, Chain 1, Chain 2, as per usual. We're going to dump Stardust Trail to make it a level 1, we will make Shaman, Shaman effect to special summon our level 2s. Now here's where it's going to be a little bit interesting and this is where uh, Cupid Pitch shines very well in this build over our original builds and I'll show you in a minute. But we'll use Cupid Chain 1, Converted Chain 2, targeting the Axel to revive Axel. We are then going to make Increase to make it a level 6 and now here we're going to make Yazi, Baron, Pop, Yazi. Yazi effect will float into Meme, use Meme twice. And then we're going to a synchro for Stardust Charge. Charge to give you a draw. It's not as powerful as Hyper Librarian. Ideally, we would like to go through this combo with the Librarian on field to keep drawing. But I'm finding it very hard to find a place to actually make a Librarian. So obviously with more testing, maybe I'll try and make it happen. But it's looking very difficult at this point in time. So the reason why you make a Cupid Pitch a level 6 instead of a level 2, however, like how we usually would, is we use these two to make a Crimson Dragon, which is very cool. Cupid Pitch is very cool in this build because now Cupid Pitch is going to burn your opponent for 1200 so it's almost like Long One in Sotso which is very good in time um, and then the Crimson Dragon will add Scrap Iron Idol I know a lot of players are choosing to stay away from Crimson Dragon and Scrap Iron Idol but it's very good and I'll show you why 
and then burn for one too and then here you can either add Caligo, you can add Destiny Neuroplasma or you can add Psychic Tracker. I'm playing a bit of an Italy package in here just to add a little bit more consistency because we've got a lot of Synchron Tuners so I want to try and create um, Psychic uh, counterparts based on their levels so Italy into the correct counterpart to make a speeder. Um, but yeah, this is irrelevant at this point in time. I'm just showing you what can be ha what can happen with the cards on the field. So now I'm just going to set the idle. I'm going to use Stardust to um, tribute to Special Summon itself. Trail comes out as well. Omega, I'm going to use its effect to uh, send itself back and speeder to the extra deck. So we're, re we're returning resources, which is good, so we have follow-up. But more importantly, we're just going to make Omega again here. And our Omega effect once, we're going to rip a card once. Bistial Dispatta effect to revive Omega. Omega effect again, rip twice. So now your opponent is sitting on, if they're going second, they lost two cards. So if they're starting their turn, they're starting their, card, their hand with four cards instead of six, how you usually would if you're going second. So you're already putting them back on that. And now you, you look at what you're going to do on their turn. So you end your turn. In the standby phase, you're going to activate Scrap Iron Idol to revive Stardust Dragon. Now you, it makes your Crimson Dragon live. You're going to target, activate its effect to target Stardust Dragon. Send Crimson Dragon back to the extra deck to special summon Crystal Wing. That is so cool. Now, assuming your opponent had four cards in hand, they have to deal with two negates, a Baron which is an Omni negate, a Crystal Wing which is a monster negate, Stardust Dragon which is just going to do Stardust as an interaction there. Dispatter has a cool interaction, so for example if they summon a Moye, Moye effect, Dispatter to put Omega back into our graveyard and then pop their, and then destroy their Moye. So they have a token and then no tuner to, to make the synchro plays. This pattern is very good and then remember, then they would have three cards in hand and then it's going to be very difficult for them to play. And then Scrap Iron Idol is set again so you can keep doing this play which is very good. This is just the Caligo line. <sighs> Look, for what it's worth, what are the trade-offs, right? First of all, with this build, we are trading off the Librarian draws to end on a little bit more um, power with the fact that we are hand-looping our opponent. So we're setting them back. The Librarian draws are always a gamble, but it's very good because you can draw between 6 to 9 cards, which you would see our game ending cards like Gravity Collapse, Anti-Spell Fragrance, um, Imperm, or any of the hand traps we play. So Librarians would have sorted out in that way. However, this rips two cards, so you're putting your opponent back, you're making two negates, which is setting them back a lot, and then you've got two interactions with Stardust and Bishel Dispatter. You can see where the trade-off is happening there. I would ideally like to have a... Hyper Librarian on the board with this build to keep drawing, but this is just day one of testing. I'm just going to show you the deck profile and then I will call it a day. You're looking at the deck profile now and so obviously we're going to play 2 Jet, 3 Assault, 2 Junk, 1 Revolution. This I got from Mr. 037, like I looked at his and it kind of made sense where you don't really want to play 3 Junk, 2 plus 1 Revolution. The Revolution fills the, 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 the thing that Junk Synchron needed to have, which is to make Speeder. Um, so Revolution fills that, and then just we need it mainly to special off of um, Speeder. And then three starters, one wheel. Wheel is so good for level modulation. Starters Trail, we're only playing one in this build because we only need one because we can special summon it, then it goes to Grave, then we re we tribute to revive it. So then there's the second application of it, so it's good. Um, we're playing three Junk Converter. Junk Converter is so good, especially in this build where we have so many Synchrons, and if you draw into the wrong one, you can use converter, sub it out for maybe a junk, summon junk, revive converter, make speeder combo off. Um, Caligo, which I just showed you what Caligo does, it's so broken in this build. Um, Meme is important for the nib line, um, and then if you make a Yazi Baron pop Yazi, we need to float into a Meme, so Meme is still important. And then, like I said, I am playing a Italy package, so we see how we've got so many synchrons. I wanted to have just one ofs of each um, psychic counterpart, so for example, Assault Synchron would have Psychic Wielder to make a speeder. Junk or Revolution would have Psychic Ace to make speeder. And then um, Starter Synchron would have Transfamilia to make a speeder. Then Illumination, Illuminations, Illumination. You need to have it. Ready Set Duel is so good. This is like our, our, our extra three copies of Tuning. Um, and then it works with Signal Counters, which is very good for, uh, for Synchro World. Amazing card. Um, 3 tuning, 3 synchro overtakes, which is I think still the best spell in the deck. Um, and then I'm playing set rotation, starlight junction and synchro world. So uh, rotation would just help us get synchro world on the field to accumulate those signal counters, which is very important. 
or if we opened up a bad hand of synchrons and we don't have junk converter and for, for example say for example we had assault synchron and Caligo in hand with normal summon assault special Caligo use junction to tribute assault for a junk synchron make speed of that when combo off so it's more consistency to what we actually need foolish burial to send anything we need to the graveyard scrap an idol to search off of the crimson dragon very important 41 card build you can choose to go up or down if you want to you can even play the dawn walker package because now we have actual sd so there is some synergy with that but looking at the extra deck we're playing shaman cupid pitch and then we are leaving out metal marcher and q and herald of the arc light i'm a little iffy on the herald i want it back because it's an omni negate and it's such a saravis um so if we can get herald back i will add saravis to the build but right now it's looking very difficult um junk warrior synchro overtake target axel synchron very good we saw what it can do um we have to play two junk speeders because we're in the format with Kashira now and we can only remove the second junk speeder once Kashira moves out, out of the format because if we rip our junk speed out of our extra deck we're screwed right because how the hell are you bring out all your synchrons to combo off so rather be safe than sorry rather end where you can actually make a speeder where you can't because it got ripped because of a Kashira um and then charge warrior yazi status dragon axel sd this card is the broken card of the deck right at this point in time um crystal wing omega it's kind of the new mvp i think because you're hand looping which is so good uh baron baron is baron there's nothing much to say about that um dispatcher dispatcher um, is what um fuels omega to uh, to get the hand loop live and then because we made it with Axel as the opponent, it's unaffected by monster effects. So you're guaranteed, if you're at that point, you're guaranteed for your hand loop to go off. And then the Crimson Dragon was so good. It sends itself back to the extra deck. So it recycles the material to bring out Crystal Wind. If you're playing the level 12 package, you can you can sub out um, this. Target any of your level 12s and bring out a Cosmic Blazer, a Shooting Quasar, Starter Cypher, or, or the new Cosmic Quasar Dragon. So, yeah. That's what the deck is looking at so far. This is day one of testing. A lot of improvements can be made. I'm I'm trying to get Librarian in. Librarian is so important to the build. I'm, that's my main criticism for this build right now is I want to try and get Librarian in this build. But yeah, this is day one. Uh, um, for the people who asked to see my version of um, or what I would think of the new Synchro cards in action, this is day one. This is what I think. Um, I will play this more. You guys, I'm going to go through your replays. I know this is the Adventure Synchro build. Um, but I'm looking at consistency overall. But yeah, that's all for today, guys. If you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord. And then I'm going to be doing some collabs in the future with some of the dudes at, at my locals. Uh, some names that you might know already if you follow South African YouTubers. So we've got Frisbee Moonsong. Maybe I'll even get uh, Mr. Hero Nero. Uh, Jason, I want to try and get you guys on the channel. Um, but yeah, that's all for me today, guys. Peace.